Hi guys. Welcome to Easy Talks. Let us learn one of the hot topics in toxicology, that is risk assessment. In this module, you will get a high level view, on risk assessment. Many of you may not be having, much idea about this topic, anyways let us begin, I request you to be very attentive to this session, as it is a difficult topic to understand, for beginners. Risk assessment, is the systematic, scientific, evaluation, of potential, adverse health effects, resulting from, human exposures, to hazardous agents, or situations. As you can see in the picture, risk is based on hazard, and exposure. Hope this point is clear. Let us see, steps involved in risk assessment. Step 1, Hazard Identification. What health problems are caused by the pollutant? Step 2, Dose Response Assessment. What are the health problems, at different exposures? Step 3, Exposure Assessment. How much of the pollutant, are people exposed to, during a specific time period? How many people are exposed? Step 4, Risk Characterization. What is the extra risk of health problems, in the exposed population? Let us learn, Hazard Identification examines, whether a stressor has the potential, to cause harm to humans and or ecological systems, and if so, under what circumstances? Hope, all are aware, of the Lidomide disaster, and for your easy understanding, different hazard categories are shown in the picture. Let us learn, dose response assessment examines, the numerical relationship, between exposure, and effects. Toxicology studies are conducted also to find, the dose response assessment, NOAEL or LOAEL, to learn more about NOAEL or at LOAEL, please go through module 7, of general toxicology series. Let us learn, exposure assessment, examines, what is known about the frequency, timing, and levels of contact with a stressor. Toxicology study output will also be helpful in this step, to a certain limit. Let us learn, risk characterization. Examines, how well the data support conclusions, about the nature and extent of the risk, from exposure to environmental stressors. Risk characterization, has been described as the, bridge between risk assessment and risk management. Parts of risk characterization, includes, to characterize, potential for adverse health effects to occur, evaluate uncertainty, summarize risk information. Now, I hope, all of you have idea about, hazard identification, exposure assessment, toxicity assessment, and risk characterization. Stay tuned, for further risk assessment modules. In the upcoming modules, we will discuss about, PDE, that is permitted daily exposure. ADE, that is allowable daily exposure. OEL, that is occupational exposure limit. DNEL, that is derived no effect level. OEV, that is occupational exposure values. OEB, that is occupational exposure bands, and related topics. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this module, please like and subscribe. Also request to provide your comments below to improve our contents, please do not forget to click notification button, for immediate updates. Happy learning! If you want to get certified by EasyTalks, please check the description of this video.